Hello everyone, this is Supreme Decision, and today I want to talk to you about something that I heard. And the title of today's, I guess, 12 will be Blissfully Ignorant. I heard something today and it made me reflect on the ongoings of today. Today meaning in our current state of being. Today, July 26, 2020. The statement was, you can't wake a person pretending to be asleep. But why was that statement so profound? Why did it resonate with me as it did? Well, most people know I teach law as at its most basic level to the common person that wants to learn. I'm going to repeat that. Because a lot of people say, you don't have a lot of followers. Because I'm teaching the people that want to learn. I host a podcast on Spotify and our heart radio that speaks directly to the police of politics. You know, those people that make an excuse for each and every officer in each and every situation without knowing anything. And then when they find out the officer lies in their reports or they behave in a manner unconductive or unconducive to their duties, they say... You must understand how dangerous the job is to fight. Policing in America doesn't crack the top 30 of most dangerous jobs. Have you ever wondered why they are so defensive and so willing to protect someone they've never met nor know of in any capacity? Let me remind you of a couple of stories I spoke about in Supreme Citizen Listening Podcast. There was a young woman who was a true police officer. No matter what she had heard, or there was an excuse locked and loaded for the police and his conduct since his murder until, yeah, until she had a restraining order on her ex to which she had, to which he had violated several times without police helping her in any, any capacity, right? He then called the police to do a wellness check on her because she was not speaking to him, you know, so they had broken up, she had a restraining order from him completely. They do a wellness check, the police, which is the top police defendant, broke down her door without knocking, rushed upstairs to a room that she was in, and the boyfriend or ex-boyfriend says, hey, she sleeps with the gun. They bust into the room she's in. She's startled and jumps up, you know, like a mirror lock. They don't see a gun, yet they shoot her. Doing a wellness check. They were called by a person she had a strain for her. They were supposed to protect her, not him. They shoot her. She then started listening to my teachings in my podcast. She stopped giving her hard-earned money to police unions. She started challenging police actions, and she chooses not to remain blissfully ignorant. We are taught police are good people because they put on a uniform. We are taught police are brave people because they put on a uniform. Yet reality teaches me as well as written and decided Supreme Court cases. Police in those uniforms are not very smart. Jordan B. City of Prince from Philadelphia. Mally B. Briggs. Most are known to have a low IQ lower than 170, which is by college's list. Those with IQs lower than 107 are more prone to violence because they don't know how to mentally assimilate information. These are the police officers. Which is also one who will uh, only follow orders and not think or question you. Police officer. And, you know, doing what they are trained to do. National statistics teach me that police officers are the most violent. Number one in reported domestic violence, or when I watched 52 police officers in Buffalo quit because two were reprimanded for busting open the head of a 60 year old man and then standing over him, and then not rendering him aid. Because they're good people. Or, my 
my favorite, when hundreds of police officers in the Atlanta area had the blue flu because two police officers were punished for shattering the window of a 20-year-old Spelman student and tasing her, then fracturing the arm of a Morehouse student who were stuck in traffic looking at the same officers beat another person they had stopped. Many of us need to believe that people are inherently good, especially police officers, to the point where we watch their actions with a bias that ends up delusion. For one reason and one reason only, if they see them as people, if they see them as human beings capable of making mistakes, then they have to look at everything in their lives with a rational eye, and then accept blissful ignorance is dangerous to us all.